I hope this message finds you and your loved ones well. Our lives have indeed changed these last 17 days. Like others across the world, our campus has had to make a very quick transition from in-person teaching and learning, committee meetings over coffee, and Zumba classes among friends, to teaching, learning, conducting business, and keeping up with friends from the safety of our homes. We miss one another. I certainly miss all of you. But these last 17 days have also given us an opportunity to test our resilience, our ability to adapt to change while not losing focus on our mission, educating students. Euler Nation is passing that test. Our faculty and staff have quickly made the transition to teaching and working virtually, and they are adeptly using some impressive techniques. For example, the biology department is using a virtual microscope website that enables students to examine the anatomy of the digestive system as if they're looking at a slide under an actual microscope. The equestrian program has recorded a series of instructional videos that show proper riding and horse training techniques. Staff members have set up remote workstations in their homes so that they can continue their vital university work. Our campus also continues to serve the community and help others in need. Many of our College of Education students, for example, have been busy helping our area K-12 teachers also make the adjustment to remote teaching. Our College of Pharmacy professors are in our labs now making hand sanitizers for area health care providers. With the help of our All Hazards Training Center, we've organized the collection and delivery of campus PPE resources to area hospitals. And the Mazza Museum has launched its virtual storytime series, which features morning and bedtime stories twice a week for children near and far. In fact, I received a nice note from a mother in Tennessee earlier this week after she and her children tuned in to one of the stories. These are just a few of the examples of the commitment to serve lived out each day at our beloved University of Findlay. All of these changes have also brought many practical questions, of course. We are addressing those one by one. Two of the topics currently on the minds of our students and their families are possible room and board refunds and an alternative date for the May graduation ceremony. We are working on plans for both, so I ask your patience. We will have a beautiful ceremony for our spring graduates in the fall semester, but we do not yet have a date. For students who complete coursework for a degree this spring semester, our registrar will provide confirmation of that for job searches or applications to graduate or professional schools in a timely manner in May. In the meantime, I pray for God's blessing upon each of you.